the year to grab the bulls by the balls. Finally, I did it. I topped with my boy Luffy. I got top 32 in Orlando regionals a couple weeks ago. I was actually planning to play Katakuri because I was having a lot of fun with Katakuri, but I just felt like Katakuri can't build enough pressure. Even though you get those big, big bombs, like you have to get there. And there's a lot of games that you just kind of like, you don't see what you need. It's like a box of chocolates, you know? A lot of times you just don't get the chocolates that you want out of your life, and then it's kaputs. But uh, a couple weeks ago, my boy Hauni told me that he just took locals with Luffy, and I was like, oh, Luffy still gets in there, man? Of course I'm playing Luffy. So I built this deck that somebody did well with at a regional, and then just kind of modified it a little bit. If you saw my last deck profile, it wasn't as in depth. This one, I'm gonna like go through the deck, really show the cards, talk a little bit more about them, and open the prizing, because I still haven't even looked at the prizing. I got all this prizing from my top, so I was pretty excited about that. I also got a play mat, but I don't know, it's somewhere in my bag. Anyway. Um, here's the deck. Let's get into it. This is my uh, Kaizoku cards deck box. Uh, sorry, spoilers. I don't know if it actually spoils anything. But this is the deck here, and I got uh, my custom leader, which I had so much fun using. It was really fun to put him, you know, I had him in this case actually. I took it out last night because I thought when we were playing, we were playing buddy battles uh, late last night. So I took uh, this out because this was more matching my vibe. But during the event, I had this in here. You know, I have a legal copy on this side. So I usually start on this side. And then once I get hit once, lose one life, I died. And then I awakened and just flip over. So uh, yeah, this is a this will be available at Kaizoku Cards. You can check it out. And then I always have a legal Dawn deck just in case. I, you know, I don't want to make the judge's hard, job hard. But it does look so much better to have some nice shiny stuff like this. I think this, I, actually, I didn't use this Gear 5 one. I used my Crying Straw Hats Dawn set. The new and improved with texture on the foiling of all their uh, their Jolly Rogers in the hidden in the texture patterns. You can see it most easily on this Nami, actually. But I'm sure you all are familiar with this Dawn set. So that was that. And uh, yeah, let's get into the deck. So, oh yeah, sleeves are pretty good also. I've used them at all my tournaments. And I think they bring me much luck. I ran four Namis. This card's so good. And it's so good now with Makino, which I'll talk about that more later. But um, just searches like all your stuff that you need. And you have to, I think searching like, personally, I like searching at specific times when I need something, maybe later in the game when I have less cards in my deck because I'm less likely to like bottom deck something that I might draw and need soon. But Nami is great. She can grab your choppers. I got the, you know, rainbowed out chopper deck. I only ran two choppers and chopper actually really didn't get in there. I just felt like so many times that I played him he would just die and I was better off like having the guard point for defense to uh, you know make them invest more in a different way. But I think maybe one game, I didn't play much yellow. On stream, my first stream match was against yellow and I might have played chopper, I don't remember. But Robin was also really good. There were a lot of games Robin put in a lot of work. And Robin is a card like you have to answer because you can't play small blockers um, when she's out. You can't play little things that you're gonna like pump. She puts in a lot of work against Zoro, puts in a lot of work against Law. So they're pretty much gonna wanna fire fist this like right away um, or do something to remove it. I mean, everybody's pretty much playing red. So yeah, fire fist or bounce it or whatever. Um, Nami also can search Buruk. Yo -ho -ho! This man was nasty. He really, really, really got in there uh, so frequently. And it's just like, there are actually a couple turns where I tried to save him and I feel like I should have actually just swung with him when I played him because sometimes they, they really, you want to remove this card. This is a problem. This is a problem card. So uh, minus 2k to two cards on attack. The game is so much about board control now and removal is very, very important. And this guy really helps pressure removal and just get more stuff out of your opponent's hand. So Brook was awesome. Zoro's also really good just because you can swing on the turn that you play him. Rush is the best skill in the game. Rush is too good. It's too, it's it's good. That's why red is so good is because of this specific skill, Rush. Uh, I just ran two Zoro though. He was there every time I needed him and he put in the work that I needed him to. And then I also had two Rush Luffy's. I love this card. This is probably my favorite card in the game. Actually, this is my favorite art in the game, which is why I have to run one of these, but I, I did want to have one one wanted Luffy in there because I think I got this guy on stream. I played on stream round one and managed to get that match. 
my opponent was super super cool i had a great time made a lot of friends this weekend it was really cool but uh yeah one wanted poster one luffy unblockable with two dawn on him that's really good and rush like this has like all the really good things that you can do in this game and they're all in one card so but two two is enough two is enough i never really needed more than that um i'm running three Ezos. so Ezo can search whitebeard pirate and he can also be pumped by Makino, which we'll get to that card also. But um, the three Ezos are good for searching your 2Ks. Jozu's a 2K. I think there's nine 2Ks in this deck, but I'm just running three Jozu's. Three speed Jill, because six is just good, especially with so much white beard running around. Like to have a body that's six on the board is very, very strong. And a lot of times they'll just remove him, which is fine because you're playing him earlier and then they lose their removal for your bigger bombs, which you want to stick anyway. So like your Rush Luffy, Marco, you want them to be less likely to remove those cards. So by uh, playing Speed Jill, you can uh, you can just have this there. If they don't answer it, then you get a swing in. And if they do, then they have less to remove your bigger, your more annoying boys. I have one SR and three Alt Art Marcos. You know, when the Marco Parade comes out, it's nice when it's led by the best looking one, but they all are good. And this, these are just really, really shiny. So you're a lot more likely to uh, blind your opponent when you drop this card and increase your ability to win the game. The one of Marco put in some work for me. I feel like this card is kind of dangerous when it's in your hand at the end of the game and you're kind of like relying on it. Sometimes it's better to just go for game because it's likely that they're gonna kill this card like nobody's gonna let this card stick around whether it gets red hot or uh, jet pistoled or, or fire fisted or whatever there's gonna be some removal for this dude so if you can set him up a little earlier and keep him alive he can definitely put in a lot of work but as a last resort I don't think he's the greatest option but beautiful card and counter power so y'all know what this man does the world's strongest man making your leader 7k is really good I think pretty much like anytime you have this card in your hand, you just play it. Even if you see another line of play, like more often than not, this guy is just the solution. So uh, there's one game where I had him and I didn't play him and that was one of the games I lost. But I don't really think I would have won that game even if I did have him on board. So um, yeah, I don't know, I, I, that, was, that was a good game, but really good card. 7K for the defensive turn is extremely strong. Two Otamas, I think this card's insane but Makino actually puts in more work right now. So I'm playing four Makinos and two Otamas. I was thinking about going to three and three, but four two is definitely the right amount. Uh, Otama minus is two to a card on play. So she's helping with removal, but Makino helps you pressure and win the game. So they're both two Ks, but this Makino makes your one cost cards into threats. So your Izos and your Namis and even Otama, if Otama's on board, you could just play this, rest it, give it plus 3k power, attach a Dawn with Luffy's effect, put one more Dawn, and then you have a 7k swing coming in, which is something to deal with. I was really on the fence about Gordon. I actually tried to cut one of these from my deck the night before, and I uh, didn't do it in time, so I actually couldn't even. But when I needed this man, he was there. It was fantastic. I was playing against uh, Magellan, and it really this card was the reason why I won. My opponent that I played was super awesome also, Peter Doe, I think, if you're listening to this man. I had a lot of fun playing with you. Um, and thank you for hitting this card in my hand, because if I didn't have this card, I would have lost, for sure. So uh, it was two kings on the board. He swung with one. I countered. He swung with the other. I took it. And when I took that one, it was Gordon, because I had a feeling it was going to be a card that was going to help me win. I had a white beard boarded, so I just... Uh, played the Gordon minus his queen blocker he just played, popped it with Whitebeard and swung for game. So Gordon definitely got in there the right way. Uh, I'm playing four guard points and one rad beam because, as I said, guard point helps you find your rad beam. And plus 3k anytime is really good because people swing for seven. So being able to go to eight and only do it with one card is very, very strong. And then Rad Beam's awesome. Um, you know, when you see it, it's great. I, I saw it pretty much every game, honestly. You see, you really see a lot of the cards in this deck. Um, but having this in hand is very comforting. It makes you feel safe. Plus 4K is a lot. Uh, Fire Fist. The other list was running three. I cut this to two, which was fine. I think three is also good. This card is just so necessary in so many matchups these days to remove stuff. But I don't like how much your hand size reduces when you play this card. So 
I thought two was fine and it worked out for me okay because I really wanted one other card, which is my last sauce card. Jet Pistol, one was fine also. Um, I think I triggered it once or twice. I may have resolved it once, but I really, there's so many other ways to remove stuff and I, I really prefer to remove people's boards by swinging into it to get cards out of their hand. Um, and then I had the one Red Hawk and the one Jambe. The Red Hawk really, I think I used it to counter maybe twice throughout the day, but I was really, you know, this trigger is just so insane. Um, and Jambe, I think I used it once, maybe. There's one game against a law player where if he had passed, I would have been able to get it because I had the Jambe and I had the Rush Luffy. So I was kind of banking on those two, but I ended up losing that game right before and it was not winnable for me. So he was just a really, really good player. He got top eight, um, Hazma, super cool guy. Had a lot of fun. So many new homies. Um, last card, the Sauce. Fiery Doll. I ran at two. The last list ran this at one. I would even like to take this to three somehow. I, I think I'm going to try and find some space to put one more of these in. This card is just so insanely good. It's so strong. The trigger's insane. I wouldn't have topped if I, I, if I didn't luck out on this one. It was the last game. It was my last life. I triggered this off the last life and it got me game. But being able to pump your leader 4k is very, very useful, especially with so much white beard in the meta. But even against any leader, like Dofi, like these leaders that can just counter so high, to be able to go to nine and then even to be able to go to just 13 off that. And if you run a third one, you can go to like, what, 17 off of six Dawn is really, really, really strong. Um, then plus your Luffy effect and putting stuff on there. Like this is, this is game winning card. So I would like to find space for more of those, but that's pretty much the deck. I don't think there's anything I would really change to it at this point, other than maybe trying to find space for the one other Fiery Doll. But I like big thing about card tournaments. You know, the last card tournament I, I topped was Dragon Ball Nationals. I got 17th. I bubbled out of top 16, so I was top 32 then also. But I felt luckier with this one because X2 really, you know, could or couldn't have been top 16. One of my friends, Hassan, got 16th place actually. He was X2 also, but. I managed to get 23rd and invites get passed down and there were I think exactly seven people ahead of me. So I'm pretty sure I got my invite to nationals, which I'm very hyped about. I'll definitely be there. Um, I'm gonna try to get to more events also, but let's look at this prizing, enough about that. I haven't even opened these up yet. These are the finalist cards you get for being a regional finalist in the One Piece card game. One Piece card game, regional finalist. I like this Sanji a lot, he looks great. Wow, look at that. That's the Rush Sanji. That's cool. Very, very cool. I might just need to play this card in my deck just because it looks so good. Ooh, this is the Film Law. That's super cool. Very, very rad looking card. This finally stamps look gorgeous. Yeah, this Teach is sick. Okay, yes, this is very cool. Very, very rad. Teach is a good card also. I remember when I was trying to get those from all the starter decks. This looks awful. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this. Uh, style of art on on these i mean i can get the appeal i can see where they're cool but not for me yeah kobe this is the best one wow this is so good with shanks in the background oh my goodness wow what nice nice looking cards and put okay wait this is really good also that is really 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 good wow fantastic i love these cards that's nice sanji on the front putting in the back um, I'll save these uh, Admiral cards for last. We'll check those out. Uh, Johnny gave me his General Frankie event pack card, which is very nice of him. Uh, I met this homie Shane and he gave me this Eddie New 8000. This is probably the best card that I got, uh, you know, at the event because you put this on the back of your white lead beard leader and then when you uh, use your play your nine drop, you just flip it over to Eddie New because it's the new Eddie. He's 8000. You won't forget it. And this is beautiful, beautiful original art of Eddie New, which I'm a really, really big fan. Very grateful for that. Uh, this is event pack one. There's five cards in this pack. I don't know what they are. I guess one of them is Frankie, since Johnny opened a Frankie. And this is a... Oh, Barto. I definitely needed another one of these. This is great. Wow, nice. Excellent. I don't know what's in these packs either. There's five cards in this pack. I wonder if they're all shiny. I almost kind of want, I have two of these. I almost kind of want to keep one sealed because the packs look so cool. But I do want to see what's inside also. Oh, these are not holographic. Okay, there's the four drop Marco, Killer, 
Wait, these are all kind of the same. I'm assuming it's all the same art in these. Okay, I'm definitely gonna keep one of these sealed for sure. Because these packs look dope. So this is staying sealed, not opening. Sorry, Goman Goman. Uh, another event pack. Well, what are we gonna find in this event pack? A Jinbei would be cool if that's oh ace. Nice. Alright, I'll take that. Barto and Ace. Very happy about that. And then this is for this was in my finalist pack thing, I think uh event pack volume two these are different a different five cards that was volume one event packs i think there and in this you can get suru nice i think this is kind of value actually and the 2k a lot of people play that in black decks so another event pack two and well look at all this stuff look at all this cool stuff whoa look at that dawn pack i got oh, dang i want to keep that closed also i'm i'm keeping these this is sealed this is this is staying sealed because it looks cool these sleeves are boring oh nami sleeves that's great and let's see what the heck's in. oh the golden dawn i wanted one of these i don't have one of these nice i get a golden dawn for being top boy all right event pack two the last one this is our last event pack two Ooh, nice. I think this card's like 50 bucks because I bought one. <laughs> All right. And then the offline regionals participation pack volume one. What will we find inside of this? Ooh, another Kobe. Sick. Great. I think I have three of these now. Really cool. But then the really hype cards, of course, I got my Borsalino. Um, wow. What kind of sleeve is this in? Is it like this is I want to take it out of here. I want to check it out. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Let's get a closer look at this bad boy. Borsalino. Wow. That is a pretty card. Dang. That's sick. I love this with the with the Jolly Rogers in there. The Straw Hat Jolly Rogers. Very cool. Very awesome looking card. I love this. I'm a big fan. Wow. Yeah, I'm probably not going to play this. I think I'll keep it in this. Nice little tuck sleeve that they provided it in for my observational purposes. Whoops. Don't want to get adhesive on the card. That would suck. I'm just gonna put this in a, in a yeah, that's not I'm not messing around with that. Penny sleeve. Perfect fit. Get it in there. How about that? Looks better? Yeah, nice. All right, and Aokiji. I didn't get Sakazuki. Sakazuki's only top 16, which is fine. I don't like Sakazuki. I hate that character. Probably won't play that card because I just really dislike the character. But Aokiji and Borsalino are super cool. So happy to have these boys. Wow, this is a sick looking card. Holy hexagon, what the heck? Huh, yeah, really, really cool. Sick. This looks great up here. All this like gold foil stamping around the edges looks really fantastic. But anyway, that's it. That's the that's the reveal of the participation and winning cards and the deck profile. I think Luffy's a great deck. It just you can pretty much get value every single turn. You know, you get once once you're at ten dawn, you're playing with eleven dawn every turn after that, and that's really good. Um, so I think I'll continue playing Luffy and continue modifying it. I'm definitely going to play the uh, red purple one when it comes out because that looks like a lot of fun and 6k is really good. Uh, yeah, so I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be, uh, you know, sometimes if you fall asleep on the couch at night eating snacks and, and you're like, you know, you're going to do that. So you're not going to brush your teeth. You can even just brush your teeth before that. You are supposed to brush your teeth like after you're done eating, but if you know that you're just not gonna do it, you're better off at least brushing your teeth before you do that. So consider that. Might be something you wanna try out if you find yourself passing out on the couch with high frequency. See y'all in the next one. You're like right in front of Jace, like yeah. here, and you have one arm like this. So like one fist. Like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna get like on my knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you gotta come over this way a little bit. I don't wanna walk you. And then, but we're all like tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all like tight together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I'm, but, okay, you come over a little bit this way. And then I'm right here. Okay. Look, you're like in the middle right here. Yeah, you're supposed to be in the middle. <laughs> Wait, no, but you're on this side. No, 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 no. no, no you're behind me. Fuck me. Do this. Alright. I'm.